Hi, this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior, and this is the Pot Cake Project. So yesterday we were talking about sleep, and I told you, I teased, that um, today we would talk about how to follow your puppy's lead in making sure that your puppy's getting enough sleep. The easiest time to do this is first thing in the morning, because your puppy is well rested having slept through the night. You take your pup out, they empty out, what a brilliant puppy, they come in, they have their breakfast, we take them out again, they potty again, and now we're ready for some playtime. Your puppy's play will be really silly and loose and wiggly and big smiles and bouncy. They're just silly and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, if you were like this all day, we would have six, 17 puppies. Um, that play, depending on the age of your puppy, will last between 10 and about 25 minutes. Um, then the play will change and when the play changes, that's your signal to pay attention that this might be twilight play. Um, twilight play is where your puppy is sliding into slumber. So um, typically they grab a toy and they lay down and they start gnawing on it. And if your puppy is a talker, they kind of talk trash to their toy. So, you know, telling that stuffed octopus that if he keeps giving him stink eye, he's going to lose a tentacle. That play is your signal to quietly take your puppy out and let them potty, bring them in and put them down for a nap. Um, they might complain for a couple minutes in their crate, but typically they're self-soothing already and off they go to sleep. Um, your puppy will wake up in probably an hour and an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer. Um, you're going to take the puppy out again, let them potty, and then offer the puppy sleep. Um, I don't know about you, but I wake up in the middle of the night because I have to go to the restroom, not because I'm done sleeping. So the key, at least in my experience, is offering them going back to sleep. Typically, your puppy will sleep for another hour, hour and a half again. Now when your puppy wakes up, heck, they're ready for lunch, right? So um, you've been able to you know, switch laundry and answer phone calls and tend to your children. So this play, if you do it all day long, if you just follow your puppy's lead, um, the first day will go generally pretty well. Day two, the puppy will start to complain at you. Um, by day five, your puppy will be a rock star and it'll be much more like that puppy that you dreamed of having. So this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training. This is part two of an ongoing series on sleep um, and it's part of the Pot Cake Project. Thanks for following us here on Facebook. Um, feel free to share the videos and we'll talk to you soon. Go take a nap.